Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about The Rise of Endymion, written by Dan Simmons and published in 1997. The Rise of Endymion is the fourth and the last part within the Hyperion Cantos. As this is the fourth video I create about Hyperion Cantos, it will be full of information concerning to the previous books, so you might consider them as spoilers. If you haven't read the books, I advise you to do it first and then come back to my video. As always, I will start with a basic level, no spoilers, and then we will go immediately into a deeper level with some minor spoilers. Let's start with the basic level, no spoilers. If you have read Endemion, you will know that here we will continue the story of Endemion. He's stuck in a ship which works as a jail, but meanwhile he continues telling us his story about Aenea. Pax is still trying to find Aenea, while Raoul is trying to do the same. We will discover a dark secret about the Pope, and we will see that there are more characters and different groups inside Pax that have different ideas of what to do next. Ok, let's talk deeper about the story. It's hard to talk more about the book without giving spoilers, but I will try my best. After we discover the dark secret of the Pope, we will see that the Pope starts a kind of crusade against the Austers, but also he has in mind Aenea and all the people she can infest, which can destroy the whole church. The dark secret was something I never saw it coming, but the church and the AI have other secrets too. We also discovered that Aenea is teaching in a planet where everybody lives in the heights, near the clouds, and where we can also find Dalai Lama here. If you notice, Hyperion Cantos uses different types of religions to sustain the story, but it does it in such a way that we don't even notice and we still give more attention to the science fiction aspect. Father de Soya is called again to be part in the quest to find all the Auster's elements and destroy them, but he notices what Pax is really doing and takes the decision to go against the church, here we will find other secrets. If you read the previous book, you will know that Aenea, Raoul and especially the Shrike have a very strong opponent, but in the Rise of Endemion it won't be one but four strong enemies, which will bring lots of action and fights in the book. Finally, the whole book will end up with an amazing ending that will extend among the universe. Actually, there are two amazing endings. One of them will surprise you, trust me. Ok, I don't want to say more because I really hate to spoil books. Every book surprises me a lot and this one is not an exception. But similar to the previous book, the beginning is a bit slow even though there are many things going on. I think the main part of the story will happen at the end with these two surprising endings. You know, now that I think about it, there are many other surprises related with some characters, related with the artificial intelligence, with the ending. You know what? Just read the book. Simple as that. Make yourself a favor. If you are a sci-fi lover, you won't be disappointed by this amazing series. This is the ending book for the Hyperion Cantos, but, but there is one more surprise. There is a fifth book or novella that I will comment in the next video. Ok, that's all for now, as always, stay safe and be happy. See you in the next video, bye bye.